Hello, my name is Thales Sen Korting and I'm going to present very briefly how supervised and unsupervised classification algorithms work. We start by the supervised classification. When we talk about pattern recognition, we always think that we have a set of instances which can be represented by all these black points here and all these instances are represented by certain features and when we display features on the screen we eventually we combine the two of them because it's easier to show in the screen so we have here an example of the feature which I call X and the feature Y and combining these two features we get what we call the f this feature space when we apply a supervised classification algorithm on that we aim to get these points here and discover to which pattern all these points belong when we, call, when we talk about supervised classification we talk about a priori information this means that we have certain knowledge about this graph here we know the instances we know the classes to which some of the instances belong for example the specialist on this data set can come here in this graph or can select some instances and say that all these instances inside the circle belongs to the pattern one all the instance inside this other circle belongs to pattern 2 and also all these instances that are inside this other circle belongs to pattern 3 that's a proceeding that the user do before starting the algorithm so we call this the training step when we do this we create this graph here which is all the instances that we have that remain unclassified plus the instances that we selected as training sets so the red points belong to the pattern 1 the green to the pattern 2 and the blue to the pattern 3 and the idea is that after applying the supervised algorithm independently of what algorithm we are dealing every supervised algorithm will get this group of points the color red points here and will create some way to classify all the black dots here and create for example this result here that will say that all the points that are in this region belongs to pattern 1 this, all these points that belongs to this region belongs to pattern 2 and so on for the pattern 3 we provide a priori information we provide a training set and the algorithm can discover the classes for all the data some examples of supervised algorithms include decision trees, random forests, k nearest neighbors, support vector machines and neural networks. Then we move to the second type of classification algorithms which is the unsupervised classification algorithms. The main idea of these algorithms is that the a priori information is unavailable so we don't have that a priori information so the user only knows the set of data and these features here that belongs to the instance that we have but the user doesn't know anything else about this data and want to apply some uh, strategy that will try to find groups of points in this feature space here and to find groups of points is a task that we use to call clustering so the main idea is that these clustering algorithms will try to find some groups of points that are similar in this feature space for example it could say that these points are close to each other so they belong to a cluster and also these other groups of points belongs to another cluster that is not similar to this one but is another cluster and also this other group but for example we could also make some different inferences in this data and say for example that all these points here are similar because they are a continuous line they they seems to have a, a similar parameter this is the question that remains for all the unsupervised algorithms how to define the similarity between feature vectors sometimes when we use unsupervised classification we have to provide this information how many clusters that we expect to find in this group of data. 
Examples of these algorithms include k-means, self-organized maps, expectation maximization, ISO data, hierarchical clustering. This letter K stands for how many clusters that we expected to find. For example, is just one example. The main reference that I have used to create this presentation is the Pattern Recognition Book 4th edition. This is how supervised and unsupervised classification algorithms work.